first year in the league. How do you rate it for you personally last year? I think it's the best league. Uh, we were the worst team. Uh, so we, I think it will continue to be the best league. We just need to become a better team. Coach, you're known for your energy on the sidelines. That surprised people in Blacksburg? Did it surprise players? It's, uh, great, it's great energy. Yeah, I think, I don't know that it, it, maybe initially it surprises everybody. Uh, by the time the season starts, our players are comfortable with it. Uh, but I think if you maybe haven't seen us or haven't been to a game, it, it probably borders on ridiculous. We have a question in the back in the camera platform. Blue shirt, yellow tie. Coach Zach Glover, WDBJ7 out of Roanoke. Um, second year, some fresh faces. Uh, what do you expect this year? What, what do you think, uh, maybe not prediction-wise in terms of wins, losses, but, but what do you hope to see coming out with this team? Well, I think we've, um, you know, Devin Wilson's the only player on the roster that was on the roster when I was hired. So there's been a lot of uh, change. Uh, you could argue some of it's needed, maybe some of it wasn't. Uh, but I think that we've tried to be as efficient and as effective as possible uh, throughout all of those changes. And I think that maybe now we're at least looking in the right direction. Uh, it's a huge mountain for us to climb, and ground is the hardest thing to make up in life. But I think that we're at least looking at the route mountain, uh, and we've got a lot of steps to go. And so all that we can control uh, is just the next right step, just like any other coaching cliche you've heard or recorded before. We just need to do a little bit more tomorrow and be a little bit better than we were today, and then do it again the next day. And. Uh, our kids have great character, and thus far, I think we're at least, like I said, I think we're at least moving in the right direction. Coach right here, front to the left. Coach Trevor Gross, CUTigers.com. How hard is it to go from a basketball school to a, a school that's a predominantly football fan base and uh, changing the culture there and marketing your basketball program to the fan base? Uh, maybe, maybe it's because of the people of Blacksburg. Uh, it hasn't been hard at all. Uh, they have welcomed myself, our staff, my family with open arms. Uh, I think they're starving uh, to do in basketball what Coach Beamer has done for decades in football. And I think that uh, that was one of the things that was attractive to me uh, was there was data and there was evidence that it could be done at Virginia Tech because of what Coach Beamer has done. Uh, it could be that I'm not smart enough to distinguish, well, you can only do this in one sport. Uh, but I've never bought into that. Could be because I'm from Texas and football is most important. Um, but it, they've been incredibly kind and welcoming uh, and very supportive of our efforts. And we just need to do better, you know? Uh, you probably need to do a little bit better than winning a third of your games. But it's hard to generate any kind of support when you're that bad. Camera platform. Hey, Coach. Uh, Kevin Martin, WFXR. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Um, talking about your freshman class, obviously extremely uh, impressive class coming in. How have you seen them transition? Um, still pretty early on, but how have you seen them transition and kind of buy into your, what you're selling? They've been great. Uh, I don't think that those kids uh, were caught off guard relative to what we were going to be about on or off the floor. I don't think anything that's transpired since they got there uh, in July has shocked them or their parents. I think we've been very transparent from the beginning with those three freshmen and their families. Uh, very, very thankful that they're there. Uh, really enjoy being around them as people. They're all three really good students. And uh, I think from a basketball standpoint, uh, they're going to have to be more than your, you would want your freshmen to be. Um, but I think those three guys can manage that burden. And I think that uh, the investment in that as their career unfolds will be really good. Coach, you have all these new personalities. You're obviously still in the process of building, only going into your second year. 25 rule changes, though, also coming down the pike. Does that create a distraction for you and the staff? Is it heartburn? How do you characterize it? Yeah, that's a good question. Coach Kermans could probably answer that better than I could. Um, 
I, I try not to get involved in any of the politics uh, of our industry, um, but I don't, I've never said it when it was going on. I can say it now that it's over. I don't think that what everybody's saying is going to happen with the rule changes is going to happen. Uh, I think we've put uh, much more of an onus on the officials. I think they, they have enough that they have to be responsible for, and we're putting way more on them. I think it's a, a completely different game. I think it's, uh, there's going to be more stoppages. Um, I think that we'll probably score more, but it's because there's going to be so many more fouls. Um, I think there will be more bad shots, more quick slash bad shots. And I think that instead of having certain programs known for their style of play, I think it'll all morph to everybody kind of plays the same, uh, which to me is uh, that's not what you want. Uh, but the people that made those decisions are a lot smarter than me and have more equity in the game than I do. And so I'm in support of whatever they want. But I don't think it's going to turn out exactly the way everybody seems to think that it is. This morphing, when will you know if you are right about it? Will it take five years? Is it no. one season? Well, I think that's the difficult thing, right? Because what I say or what Coach Crimmins would say, it's just our opinion because there's no evidence to support it either way. Um, and I think that any time you talk about non-conference from, you know, the games from Thanksgiving to Christmas, there's a lot of guarantee games going on. There's a lot of skewed numbers in the schedule. So I think you at least need to go through a conference season where it's good on good, level on level, and you'll at least have a vibe for is it different. But uh, I think it's for sure going to be different. Question in the back once again. Coach, I know it's still early into year two, but for your program, for building this, is it where you want it to be at this point, or is this kind of the year to more evaluate that question? No, I don't, I don't know that we've um, – I probably should let somebody else answer that question too. Um, we need to do better. Uh, you know, we need to do better in every possible way. Uh, we need to recruit more. We need to recruit better. We need to execute more. I need to be a lot better in how we spend our time and practice. I need to be much more efficient during the game. I need to do a better job delegating to my staff. Um, I, I think there's a, a litany of things that we can improve on. I'm not real good on the evaluation part uh, of anything because evaluation means that you're sitting still and looking at something. And I think if you're sitting still, that means somebody's running past you, getting something done. And so we need to start running a little faster.